everyone welcome back to single girl budgets my name is Jessica and today we're doing some budgeting because my goal is to save money make money have money pay off debt and well just live a happier life because I'm not worried about money so I am using my budget stickers that are in my Etsy shop below this is the paycheck budget along with the spending tracker. So we're gonna need those. I'm not gonna need the months, so I'll just leave them back there. Set this bad boy off to the side. This is my current budget book. It says good things happen to those who hustle because ain't that the truth. So this, let me zoom you guys in. That way everybody can see what's going on. So this is our last paycheck budget that we did that we are going to close out today so we can do our next budget so if we scroll down to the bottom here you will see that we had a potential rollover of 73 dollars i'm gonna tell you all right now i know that i overspent so i know that this number might be negative and the beauty of if it is negative i do have a buffer in my account so my account will not go negative but huh, let's see what happened so first things first my salary did not change so we can go ahead and put that that was one thousand five hundred sixty four dollars pull you guys down just a little bit there I did not make any extra income this time which means our income was the two thousand seventy nine as expected none of those matter so Let's look at some of our expenses here. So our HOA was actually 231, no change there. Car payment, no change there. Electronic savings, nothing there. Cash did not change at 105. Spending we will come back to and I did do that extra savings transfer of $1,000. You guys, it felt so good. To see that money move into i use an ally savings account for my emergency fund car fund you know stuff like that savings that i can't touch like real quick i move that out my electronic savings does go into an account that is attached to my bank so that if i need to access it i can once it hits usually like 1200 i go ahead and take a thousand of it and transfer it over to my ally account but I want to make sure that I have extra cash available if I need it immediately. Ally does take a couple of days. So these are all no change. Spending. This is where it gets real, y'all. So let's go ahead and flip over to our spending tracker. So as you can see, week one is done. I did go through and I marked my debit versus my credit expenses and added that up at the bottom. We are now gonna do that same thing for week two. I do like breaking them down by weeks. I think that it is just easier for me to track my spending because then I don't spend as much. So debit, both of these are gonna get highlighted. I did place a pre-order from the Coffee Monsters Co because uh, why wouldn't I with their advent calendar? And then I ran through the drive through at one point. So both of those are debit transactions. Where's my calculator? And yes, I call it a calculator because, you know, it's fun that way. All right, so we have 55.84 plus 14, 59.99 for debit transactions. And I have cash on here, but I never track that. I'm, let me get you guys in frame there. So I don't even worry about the cash. So credit, if you guys have never watched any of these videos, credit is a little different for me because I am only tracking spending that I wouldn't normally do. So if it is a subscription or gas, that is already worked into my plan. So for example, the first one is for Gabriel Brothers. I went shopping with my sister this weekend because my niece got married and we needed some retail therapy because of course she was beautiful, you guys, actually. Do I have, oh, I have a picture here somewhere. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
It's a very small picture. They did an unplugged ceremony. Look how freaking cute they are. Right? So that was the only picture I got at the reception and I can't wait to see the rest of them. So we went to, we did shopping. So Gabe's, we went to Torrid. Uh, we got pretzels at the mall because who doesn't? Now Nintendo, I am not gonna highlight because that is a subscription. I need to actually just cancel it because I don't really use it. So I need to go ahead and cancel that and I just keep forgetting to. Uh, Dollar General, I needed gum the day of the wedding. The only thing I had on me was my credit card. So I ran in and grabbed it. So I'm sure my credit card company loves me for spending $1.10 on gum. But I need something to keep myself occupied. Yeah, because there were tears. There were a lot of tears. So every plate is a subscription. iCloud is a subscription. Timmy V's is a gas, like a gas station. So I don't count gas. The last thing is KFC, which I do because I got back. I didn't want to go grocery shopping and, uh, whatchamacallit, mm -hmm. DoorDash had a deal for KFC that if you bought like a meal, you got like a free like 12 piece uh, chicken strip. So totally bought that, spent $27 and I'm working on day, what, I had the Saturday, no, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I mean, it took me like four days to eat it, you guys. So I feel like $27 for four days is not bad. And we're talking like lunch and dinner. So let's go ahead and do a quick add up of all of this. E7, $6.71, $1.10, and $27.19. So $114.14. Okay. Oh, sorry guys. I just wrote that down there at the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add up all four of these numbers. So $69.99 plus 15609 plus 75. So I spent $415.22. I am going to round that because I don't do change. And since it's less than, I'm trying to get you guys in frame. Sorry. Since it's less than 50, I'll just round down and we will just do a 415. Where's my red pen? So that means that we were $200 over budget, which honestly, I mean, and not the best, you know, but could have been worse, right? So the beautiful thing is that this plus this equals this. So we spent 2000 $206. So if we take what we actually spent minus our total, or I'm sorry, what we actually made minus what we actually spent, that number is going to be negative. I'm going to do it in red. So we are at a negative $127 for our rollover. Eek. Thankfully, I do keep a buffer in my account. So this amount is, you know, not an issue. And I'm not really worried about it because I know that I've got very few bills this next paycheck. So I know we're gonna get back positive. And then October is a three paycheck month for me. So even though I am a paycheck budgeter, that still, you know, kind of works out a little differently. So I'm not too worried about it. It is what it is. So let me zoom you guys out. I swear, one of these days I will know the difference between in and out. <laughs> All right, so what I am going to do, because I want to have two pages for my spending tracker and then one page for my budget, I don't really want to skip any pages, so I'm going to go ahead and do my spending trackers here. So let me grab my stickers, and I've got some super cute washi that I'm going to use, and then my spending trackers. Let's just go ahead and lay these down. And these are all available in my Etsy shop. Currently, you can only get them for an A5 slash petite planner size. 
Uh, if you do want them in a different size, just message me on Etsy. I love doing custom orders and I will gladly make something for you. So we are just spending tracker. And then on my spending tracker, you'll notice that there is a total spending line. And then there's this total expenses box over here. Because I do spend in multiple ways, I really like using this box. And this is actually a misprint. There are lines on here. I just figured I would use, you know, the misprint instead of letting it go to waste. Because we are using what we have this year. Oh, wow. That is super crooked. And I don't know if this is going to come back up. That is the one thing I will say about my sticker paper, you guys, is it is a permanent paper. I love it. However, once it goes down, she ain't coming back up. So I just usually put this box here in the middle at the bottom. That way I've got it. Go ahead and, oh, you guys. I just ripped this sticker in half. Ah. Uh, Okay, we're gonna try to stick our surgery. We're gonna, we're just gonna try like, ah, I made it worse, I made it worse. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna have to pull this towards me so that I can try to get it as perfect as possible. I can't believe I ripped my sticker in half. All right, she's gonna be a little crooked and I'm gonna have to put a piece of tape over her because she is, okay, can you tell? Oh, she real crooked. She's real crooked. We had to throw a piece of tape over her, but it's only for a week, you know, two. We're only gonna look at it for a short period of time. That kids is why you don't, you know, get into a hurry or like be flying and rip your stickers off because then you do stupid things like that and rip the sticker in half oh you know what this is also that was also one of the real bad like misprints so that's probably why yeah you can tell if you look at the difference like this one is much more muddy and this one is a lot cleaner yeah that's mm -hmm. okay so Spending tracker is done. I do think, so I have thought about putting the dates on here somewhere. That way I know like what the dates should be. What do you guys think? And I like to make it stand out. So let me grab, I have an idea. Let me grab my Planner Kate stickers here, which are a mess currently, you guys, because I got a ton of stuff that I need to like put away and I haven't, that's what I wanted. So this little sampler, which is S244, I don't use for anything, you guys, and I have a couple of them. So I think what I'm gonna do, because so this budget is going to be the 18th through like October 1st. So basically we have 9, 18 through 9, uh, 24. And then we're going to have 9, 24 through 10, 1. This way, I just kind of know. We'll just put it like right down here in the corner. I think that's perfect. Just enough. I mean, it's super tiny. It's nothing crazy, but just enough so that I can see. Actually, I'd like to scoot that one over. Oof, maybe. This way I just can see, you know, what the dates are, what dates I'm working with. Because sometimes I get confused, not going to lie. Okay, so that is super simple. So now, let's do our budget. So let me go ahead and zoom you guys back in. Okay. So first things first, gonna make it pretty. This is the current washi that I have. I think that it is beautiful. And I think this is my favorite washi. All right, so there's that. We can throw away this page. 
And then let's go ahead and gently pull up our paycheck budget. Let's not rip that one to pieces like we did our spending tracker. All right, there's that. So we have our income sources. There's that. Make sure I'm on. I've got some notes off to the side because otherwise, you know, we'd never get through this. And then I've got one, two, three, four. So I'm just going to go ahead and write those in really quickly. So we've got our rollover. This book is getting so thick because of these washies. And then if you've watched any of my previous videos, you would know that I do what is called a credit rollover because I account for all of my credit card spending during each paycheck, but I don't necessarily pay it. I only pay it when it's due once a month. So what I do is I basically account for all of that spending and then use that as an extra income category, income. Like it's not actually income, but it's money that's sitting in my account. So then I'll have my normal salary and any miscellaneous spending. So there's that. So let's put our total line down. Let me get you guys straightened back up here. I'm sorry. I need to like put the camera sideways, but then I forget. And then it kind of annoys me. So grab a ruler and draw some lines. There's one. Two, three. So for the rollover, as we saw, that is going to be a negative $127. And that's what it's actually going to be because we've already figured that out. For our credit rollover, let me well, zoom you all out again. You guys are going to get like whiplash or something. So for our credit rollover, what I do is I go back to my spending trackers for August because this is where that credit spending took place. And all what I need to do, because I've got this down here at the bottom, is just add up my, oh, how do I backspace, there we go. Add up my credit spending, only the credit spending. So basically three numbers this time, because this is where we did one number because of everything being all like cray cray. So my credit rollover is going to be, uh, I'm going to round it up. I'm going to do $1,094 because that is money that has already been accounted for, but has not yet been paid. So credit roller is going to be $1,000. 94 let me zoom you guys back in and we know that that is what it's actually going to be because there's no reason anything's going to change for my salary it is going to be one thousand five hundred sixty four dollars i'm not going to put an actual amount because i have been making some additional money doing some additional work so we'll see what happens with that. And then miscellaneous, I never count on anything coming in for miscellaneous. So, I'm trying to get a good, like, there we go, that's better. Okay, so our total income is going to be 1094 plus 1564 minus that $127. So I'm looking at 2531. And that's basically what I have to work with this paycheck. So let me go ahead and we're going to skip a line. Let's add in this super cute thin washi. I mean, I just love that thin washi. I think it's adorable and it matches that top so well. And then let's do our expenses. Now I am a paycheck budgeter. Um, because it just, that's what works in my brain. I have tried monthly. It just doesn't work in my brain, you guys. Like, it is what it is. So, that's why I do what I do. So, expenses. I'm going to have to turn you guys a little bit. Sorry about that. 
expenses are going to be my Chase payment is due, which is my credit card. I also have an Amazon Chase card. Literally opened it to get the discount. And um, yeah, they put like that became my automatic card on Amazon. I always forget to switch it. So I guess it's a good thing. I'm using it, you know. I always do an electronic savings. And then this time, this paycheck will be my sinking funds, which may be changing soon, you guys. I did some like legit calculations as to what I needed for so that I could pay my car insurance in like every six months. And um, there was something else that I was really looking at. I don't even remember what it was. But basically, like, I am probably going to be redoing my sinking funds. But we shall see. We'll see what happens. So I always withdraw some cash. And 20 of that does go to, I guess, technically a sinking fund. But it's just how I've done it. And it's what makes sense in my brain. The cash I do throw in my wallet for anything I might need. And then the last thing is going to be my spending. Spend in. All right, so let's go ahead and put our total expenses and draw some lines. That's super crooked, but y'all, like I said, I don't know if that'll come back up and I'm not gonna mess with it. So it is what it is. I don't have any like legit bills on here, so I never use the due date. I put it on here because I thought I would, and then I realized I personally don't need it. So, you know. All right, so let's go ahead and do some numbers in this section. So I already know that my chase is going to be 1,178 dollars. And yes, this amount and this amount are going to be more than my credit rollover. However, like I said, the credit rollover is more for things that I'm spending in excess of subscriptions and gas because I know that those things are going to happen. So my Amazon Chase is only $30 this time. Electronic savings is always 100. Sinking funds is 60. Cash is going to be 120 and then spending, we always shoot for 200 but clearly, as you've all seen, that has not been going, you know, the best for us. So, oh, let's see if we can get everything in here. Yeah, we can. All right, let's go ahead and do, add this all up. So, 1178 plus 30 plus 100 plus 60 plus 120 plus 200 equals $1,688. See guys, I told you it would be totally fine that I overspent last paycheck because I knew this is what was going to happen. So let's do another super cute piece of washi. And let's put our potential rollover in. So our potential versus actual rollover. So let me zoom you guys out just a little bit so that we can see what's going on here. All right, well, the dog saw so or heard something, but I don't know what they heard. So we are taking our total income of 2531 Minus our total expenses of $16.88, giving us a potential rollover of $843. Like I said, I knew that this was kind of what was, what was going to happen because I don't have a lot of bills. This paycheck and with October being a three paycheck month, I knew that I would have that extra money. So that's why I wasn't too concerned about having a negative rollover. Because, one, it wasn't that negative. Like, I mean, yeah, $127 is a lot, especially some people. But for me, with the way that I budget, that's not horrible. I do try to keep it to under 100 if I am going to have a negative rollover. 
mainly because I always have at least a hundred dollar buffer in my bank account. So, and usually I have more because of this credit rollover. So one last thing I want to do is I want to put the date on this. So, uh, these are sheet 516, S516 from Planner Kate. Uh, they're just long and skinny labels. I love them. What color, you guys, should we do? I am thinking, I think last time I used this yellow because it matched the yellow up at the top in the washi. So let's go ahead and do that again, actually. I should not have peeled that up already, but that's okay. I am just going to put this down here at the bottom, in the middle, and then I'm going to go ahead and write on here that this is going to be September, what did we say? 18th? Yeah, 18th through October 1st. So that way I know when this budget period is going to run through. And no, I do not cut it off at the end of September because I do paycheck to paycheck. My next paycheck will not be until October 2nd. And that's when that uh, budget will start. So big uh, fingers crossed we can keep everything where it needs to be. I do have a uh, vet appointment for one of my dogs to do a vaccine and a checkup because he's having some skin issues, a little pucky man. So he needs... He will be going to the vet, so I know that some of this is definitely going to go for that. I'm not going to budget it out because, honestly, you guys, I have no idea where to even start. Like, vet vet visits, I never have any idea what's going to happen. I also know he needs some more of his medicine, like his anti-itch medicine, and that's probably going to be like 100 bucks. So, yeah. But that's also why I'm looking at redoing my sinking funds because I want to get some more money in there sooner rather than later. So, paycheck budget is done. Spending trackers are set up, ready to go. Even put dates on there, which I'm really liking. I'm still really sad about ripping the sticker, but it happens, right? So, that is it for today. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button down below so that you can become part of this little Bam that we got going on in this corner of the internet because tomorrow is going to be cash stuffing, sinking funds, all the good things. And you don't want to miss that. So got to make sure that you hit the, hit the little notifications so that, you know, you know, whenever I post. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.